Let's start with the most sensational murder. Indian hockey player Birendra Lakra was charged with the murder of his childhood friend Anand Topo. The victim's father has accused Lakra, his female friend Manjeet Tete, of killing Topo after an argument. Incidentally, Lakra, Tete and the victim all shared a flat. Lakra was part of the Indian hockey team that brought home a bronze medal from the Olympics in 2020. Now for the most viral controversy. Deepthi Sharma set the cat amongst the pigeons as she ran out the non-striker to give India a 3-0 series victory against England. While the on-field players seemed oblivious, the world of cricket furiously debated whether it was correct to run out the non-striker. The most shameful controversy FIFA banned the All India Football Federation alleging undue interference by a third party. This third party being the Supreme Court appointed Committee of Administrators. In fact, besides a severe loss of face, Gokulam Kerala, the Indian women's club champions who were to play in the AFC Women's Club Championship 2022 in Uzbekistan, couldn't participate. Also, India hosting the Women's Under 17 World Cup became uncertain. If the ban continued, India would lose its hosting rights. In the end, it all turned out okay. Removal of Federation Presidents Staying with murky and shameful, three larger-than-life administrators, Praful Patel, Narinder Batra and Adil Sumariwala, had to resign under a cloud. The Football Federation President had already overstayed his welcome and tenure, but he left only when the Supreme Court gave a directive. Praful Patel's term had already ended in 2020. Court orders put Hockey India under a committee of administrators because of an alleged violation of the National Sports Code. Narinder Batra was also removed as the Indian Olympics Association President, consequently, and as well as FIH President. The FIH also demanded immediate elections or the 2023 World Cup hosting rights would be taken away. The court also intervened in the politics of the Indian Olympic Association. The Delhi High Court handed over the functioning of the IOA also to a COA. Adil Sumariwala, President of the AFI and Vice President of the IOA claimed he had been appointed as the IOA head. General Secretary Rajiv Mehta came out contesting this claim. Finally, it was P.T. Usha who was elected as the President. Also, the Table Tennis Federation of India has been in disarray. Here again, the courts suspended the executive committee of the federation and appointed a COA. Doping controversies Four high-profile athletes were slapped with doping bans. Discus thrower Kamal Preet Kaur, emerging track star Dhanalakshmi, javelin thrower Shivpa Singh and triple jumper Eshwarya Babu. Gymnast Deepa Karmakar was also banned, but not for doping. The Tripura athlete had failed to inform the authorities about her whereabouts. Karmakar hasn't competed for over three years, so the ban has little meaning. Selection Controversies Several table tennis stars had gone to court alleging discrepancies in the selection process for the 2022 Commonwealth Games team. While most of them lost their case, one emerging player, Dia Chitale, was included in the team after the appeal. Bad Behaviour Controversies Wrestler Satender Malik got a lifetime ban for unpardonable behaviour. While participating in the trials for the Commonwealth Games, the heavyweight wrestler lost his school after a decision went against him and slapped the referee. During the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, boxer Lavlina Borgohen alleged mental harassment after her coach Sandhya Guru was not allowed inside the Games village. Wrestler Bajarang Punya too, while not in as strong a word, said he was not being allowed a physiotherapist. Meanwhile, a manager with the Indian weightlifting team was accused of rude behaviour by the CWG organising committee, which asked the chef demissions office to instruct the country's contingent to be respectful and courteous at all times. Apparently, the official in question had behaved rudely with a driver of a vehicle transporting the Indian contingent. Staying with CWG controversies, women's table tennis coach Anandita Chakraborty was clearly missing in action and filling in for her was the men's coach S. Raman. Sexual controversies 
Alex Ambrose, assistant coach of the Indian women's under-17 football team, was suspended and sent back from a training camp in Norway for allegedly abusing a minor player. The national cycling team was called back from a training camp in Slovenia after a female cyclist leveled charges of sexual harassment against the chief national coach. The coach was dismissed after Sai found him guilty. But the most sensational accusations came just a day before the year ended. Haryana's sports minister and former hockey star Sandeep Singh was accused by a junior athletics coach of sexual harassment. The woman, an international-level athlete who was also a member of the Rio Olympics Indian women's 400-meter squad, was recruited as junior coach just three months before. She claims she did not have a record of the messages as the minister sent them in disappearing mode.